Tom went to pick up tickets, so I thought I'd show you this Porsche. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love the colors. We're here at the Peterson Museum, and that's the car from the movie Christine, where the car goes around and kills everybody. And the yellow V-dub is from Little Miss Sunshine. Kind of neat. We used to have one like that. Get that. Does anybody know what that movie's from? Back to the Future. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Check it out. Ooh. This Tony, one here Tony is Tony from Tom Iron Man. Ooh, the Great Gatsby. Look at that. Ooh, that's Batman's backup motorcycle. And there's Batman's car. Check it out. Batman and Robin's bike. And the Batmobile. Woohoo! Okay, so you're telling me that this was a Plymouth. Yeah, it was a 54 Plymouth Explorer, but then you've heard of the Carmen Ghia factory. They, they like transform the Volkswagen Beetle into a Carmen Ghia. They, they take the chassis and they rebody them. This is a 54 Plymouth and uh, the Ghia factory redid the body. Wow, and what about this one here? This is by Bertone. That's the, another custom, custom body manufacturing company. This is a 53 Dodge, remade by Bertone. Uh, wow, that's beautiful. Of course, it's my favorite color, too. Oh, and look at that. Oh, that's beautiful inside, too. What's this one? It's a concept car. Concept car, okay. 1955 Mercury. Ooh, Merc. That's pretty. So, so all three of these cars were concept cars uh, for... No, this, this gold one was a concept car that was so, shown at auto shows like they did. Those other two were purposely made by the Bertone factory, the blue one, and the green one was made by Ghia. Wow. So basically just re-bodied re American chassis. Cool. Okay. This is a 59 Chevy Corvette re-bodied by the Scaglietta fa factory. Oh. Scaglietti fa factory. Oh. But it doesn't look like a Corvette anymore unless you look at the interior. Okay, I'm going to take a peek at the interior. Kind of see. Down in there. Wow, look at that. Sleek. Sexy. Makes you want to go cruising. This is my favorite car, a Jaguar. Look at that. It's an SS90. Beautiful. Check that out. Back in the 60s, Ford tried to buy a Ferrari, and Ferrari said, no way. I think that's the way it goes. But anyway, Ferrari was winning all the big races. Ford built the, this GT40 with just oh. enough street cars to make it a, a legal car and then they built some racing versions and went and spanked Ferrari in all the big races using this so Ferrari no longer was the king. The yellow one is a current version of it, probably a 2016 or 2018, I'll look. Wow. Yeah, the yellow one is the, the new current version of the Ford GT. It's no longer a GT40. The 40 indicated the roof height and ah. it was a low car, but the yellow one's probably a GT60 or 70 if you wanted to a use the same standard. higher rooftop. Too. But it, it's a, they're both beautiful cars. Yes. A BSA or a Triumph engine, these are all customized, right? 
the way it reads. Okay, so yeah, and then I don't know what the crap shoot is. We'd have to read the thing, but it looks like a salt flat tracer, a streamliner. Speaking of streamliners, look at this white BMW right here. That's one way to do it. Wow. White Phantom. A white Phantom? Yes. Oh, this looks like something that was on my bicycle when I was a kid. Look at that seat. You what stole was that from my Schwinn Stingray. Yeah. How <laughs> funny. Well, I wouldn't want to sit on that seat in a nice bumpy road. That would hurt. The 57 Triumph Engine. Triumph Engine. Called the Needle. The needle. By Chabot Engineering. Another custom. Wow. There's another Triumph over there. Another custom. On a cafe racer frame. Jeez. There's a Ducati over there. A Ducati? Woo! A highly modified Ducati Cafe Racer. A 1939 Porsche. It was going to be used for a road race. A Berlin to Rome endurance race, but war broke out. Berlin to where? Rome's race. Rome race. But when the war broke out, they got put on hold. Thanks for watching my video of the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, California. We had a great time. There were so many cars that the pictures are on the cutting room floor because we just couldn't get it all in. There was things for the kids to do. There was even a Lego land inside for the kids to play in. There was more cars than you can shake a stick at. Oh my gosh, they even had a lowrider section that was just the neatest with a lowrider. It was the biggest piñata lowrider car, looked like an Impala. It was cool. And the motorcycles, oh, and the little kids' cars dating back. I want to say I think what they had there was... Uh, Porsche 911 kids car that looked like mom and dad's real car but just scaled down for a kid. It was awesome. And then they had one of the first cars that Disney used when they had their amusement park ride that looked like cars. And they had movie stars, our movie cars that were in movies uh, like Christine, the killer car. That was kind of cool to see that. And then we got to see um, the Porsches, which are some of my favorite because we've had a couple. And the other thing that I really like is my favorite car, which I probably will never get, is a Jaguar. It was neat to see some of those. But if you've ever got a chance to go, you should go to that museum. Guys will love it. Girls will love it. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, leave us a comment, click the bell for reminders of our next video, and just remember with Christie's RV Life, wherever you go, there you are. God bless.